All right, so what I'm doing today is a still life for a change, and uh, it's going to be some oranges on a plate, and I'm just going to play with the colors. And I think the colors are the most important, so that's what I'm going to start with. And uh, I think the first colors I'll work on are for the uh, oranges. So uh, the first color may be some white, a little yellow. This will be the highlight on my oranges. Grab yellow. Some of my bright red. Nice and bright orange. All right. And then I also am going to need some uh, browns. So let me go down here. Grab red. To this, I'm going to add white and blue to get my brown. So, uh, I will need one darker brown in a sec, but for the shadow, for the shadow on the plate, I need something a little bit almost the same value more of a purple. So I'm going to mix. I didn't clean the knife, so I still have that brown color on there. Okay, and now I get something like this. And I want the values to be the same, so I'm going to lighten it just a bit. Pretty close. All right, and then next. So, so the plate is going to be blue, and I need an intermediate color, which is going to be a green. So, what makes sense is to skip the intermediate color for now, mix the blues, and then. When I put them back together, I can get a green. The purpose of the intermediate color is to tie everything together. So for my blues, I definitely need a lot of white. And I'm just going to put a lot right here. I think I'll start out with my darker blue. I grab the sailor blue, put it right here and put some white into it. And I pretty much want to leave it pure like that. It's really going to make the orange stand out. Okay. Next I'm going to go down and, oh, let's see. About this one. Mix this up. I'll get something of a gray blue, which is exactly what I want. Let's see. I think I need one dark brown before I get to my green. So down here. Some yellow. And this is gonna be more blue than I need, but it'll make sense in a second. Okay, so this is my very dark color for darkening any other colors in the painting. If I mix it over here with a little bit of the brown, then I have a really dark brown. And then one intermediate color is all that's left. Put this here. Grab my yellow. white and then to dull it down I'm just going to grab a little bit of this
a little too brown, so I'll just add a little more blue. Okay, there we go. That's the palette. Light blue or gray is going to work best for the outline. And I'll just pick the sides of my plate. Just going to take it all the way around to outline the plate. I'll outline the lines of the tablecloth. nicely placed just to support the background of the piece. And then I'll outline these oranges, which I definitely want the paint to be thin so that uh, I use orange on them they'll show up or it won't muddy the color one. this one just kind of poke off the edge here So the shapes of the oranges really are very easy, you know, because they're just sections of spheres. But keep in mind, you know, this curve of this orange is going to be much more circular than an orange we're looking at this way. The curve is going to be more elliptical. for the shadows. And the suggestion of where the plate rim is. the shape of this bowl just a little bit for this plate. So it's a little too quick here. Should be more like that. Shadow of the bowl or the plate. Okay. 